I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Kelly Price speaks on embracing the idea of being called auntie. Yes, I do want to hear Mo 3. I want to hear Mo 3. We're going to be there in a few minutes. I go on, what time is it? I go on in 35 minutes. I don't know. I go on in 35 minutes and we're like 15. The hell no. We go in. We, we get there. We get there in 17 minutes and I go on in 35 minutes. This is not right. This is not right. Okay. Hey. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> no, 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 no. Somebody said, hey, auntie. They don't even know. <laughs> auntie is good. Auntie is good. I have embraced auntie. I am not with this older generation talking about, don't call me auntie. I ain't nobody's auntie. I actually have nieces and nephews. So I am somebody's auntie. And the only thing I can tell the rest of y'all that feel away about getting older I'm not trying to be funny. The only way to not get older is I'm going to let that sit with you for a second. Three, two, one. I'll say it again. The only way to avoid getting older is to pay. I'm 51 years old. I'm grateful. I grew up with kids in the projects, Edgemere projects. They didn't make it out of high school. They didn't make it out of junior high school. They didn't make it out of elementary school. College was never even an option for them. I'm 51 years old. So y'all call me whatever y'all want to call me. The only way for me not to get older is to die. And I have no plans on dying anytime soon. But, so I just wanted to say hello to everyone. Because as you know, the last time we were in Atlanta, we were rained out. We had a thunder and lightning storm and the lineup for um wind down wednesdays in the city of east uh east point was um bobby valentino howard hewitt myself and tony 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 which when i found out tony 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 was closing i was freaking out because i knew last year that they were working on a reunion tour and i was trying to figure out what city I was going to go see them in and so then to be asked to come and perform this gig with them I was just like oh look at what God has done <laughs> so I get a chance to work the gig um, I will get a chance to see a part of the it I, I'm still going to a city where I can just go and be a fan and see them perform because I also once I come off the stage I have my own routine where I wind down and try to take myself down and bring my adrenaline down and all of those other kind of things but um, I'm so grateful to share the stage with them tonight on my very first album I sampled one of their songs like that's how big of a fan I was and I did that with the understanding that that I could have done an interpolation I could have had the music replayed so many other things that I could have done but I wanted their sound so I sampled it instead of doing interpolation or having it replayed and so um, if you don't know what song I'm talking about I'm talking about whatever you want and that was the sample that was in Soul of a Woman so which was also the title of my very first album so I'm super excited I'm getting ready to pull up to the venue in a few minutes and I'm getting ready to take the stage. I'm getting ready to take the stage um, and then they'll be coming on behind me. And um, for as many of you that could make it back out tonight, I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Um, for those of you who maybe were not able to make it out tonight because you had something else to do. Oh, dang, I'm on the radio. <laughs> Be sure to like, share.
share, and subscribe. I'm singing this song tonight. I can't. No, like if I don't sing it, people will be in the comments afterwards like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> you know we came to hear this song tonight. What is wrong with you? No, so no, I, I will be singing it will rain tonight. I will. Um, oh my God. Y'all, auntie, as some of you call me, I've been doing this since I was 18 years old. And one of the most important conversations I have ever had about how to carry myself and accept the changes in the music industry and in the entertainment industry as they happen and to wear them gracefully is from the one and only Patti LaBelle herself. Like she literally, she was talking to me and like she, at one point she was just like, she was slapping my face. She was going, oh, you're so sweet and so stupid. And I just, she gave it to me. And I'll never forget it. And I'm super grateful for it. I'm on the radio while I'm talking to y'all. I did, I did not plan this. Can you let them know we almost did? Well, I guess I can let y'all know if you're there that I'm almost there, but he wasn't talking to me, but I'll be there in a couple of minutes. I want to hear you guys singing this when we sing tonight. Can I tell y'all why I really got on Instagram Live? You don't want me to tell them why I really got on IG Live? I didn't even get on IG Live to tell y'all I was on my way to the venue. We're not having a conversation no more. I have an Amazon situation. <laughs> I have an Amazon situation. What's going on with Kelly Price lately? I'm gonna have to check over in the IG and see what she's talking about. Well, come on, baby. Come to the IG. I'm live right now, my love. September 9th. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That was very weird. Uh, get over to IG and connect with us and hear her so I'm going to show that too. Kelly Price is fine. About to take the stage. About to do what she does. But thank you for being concerned. I do appreciate it. I literally got on Instagram Live. Because I have a habit of going on um, Amazon in the middle of the night and seeing the cutest things that I want to buy, right, for the house. So I buy them and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to put it on this shelf over here. I'm going to put it in this bookcase over here. It's going to look so cute. And when I get it, it's miniature, meaning like three inches long. <laughs> so I think I'm buying some type of an accessory to put on the wall, <laughs> to put on a bookshelf, to put on like a Amazon. I'm not playing with y'all no more. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.